Hi, I'm Grant Banbury. I'm, I'm here today in the storage facility at the Egantyre uh, Gallery in Timaru. Just going to pull this rack out. Just to illustrate how <coughs> these artworks are stored in these facilities. They're hung on these grid racks um, and are par <coughs> not necessarily partnered up, but uh, are stored in this particular way making easy access that they can slide out. Today we're going to talk about this work called Blue Street Scene, painted in 1982 by John Coley. It's an oil painting on canvas and is very brightly coloured. John Coley was born in 1935 in Palmerston North and has a background as a journalist before he decided to go to art school in Canterbury, Christchurch. There he studied with other noted New Zealand artists such as Patrick Hanley, Quentin McFarland, and <clears throat> in terms of his pro professional career, he began exhibiting in an important body of artists in Christchurch called The Group. Work came from all over New Zealand to this particular um, exhibition, annual exhibition, held each year. John Coley's known for his abstractions, particularly a series called Abacus, which dealt with quite strong colour and optical effects. Those works were started in the 1960s, and then here with this particular work, still that bright colour exists, and here we have a street scene. Um, these figures moving about, we see down a little street here, we have a, a pole, and it becomes like a sort of graphic exploration. John Coley is very good with colour. He knows how to <coughs> make these things fit together, and I really feel that these are very joyous paintings that a lot of people um, could admire that perhaps don't know so much about the history and development of the visual arts. Interestingly, if we look at the individual people, um, there is one child, here are people um, carrying bags, and if we look more closely, they're all anonymous. None of them have any details on their faces. It feels a little bit like child play here. It feels as if it's a work that um, in many ways feels relatively simple, and that the more you look at it, the more you find um, the complexities of its colour relationships, particularly over here in this area where you have perspective of a street scene and yet you have horizontal bands of colour going through. So the earlier abstract works <coughs> and the way that John Coley worked with colour comes right through to, to this series. In 1980, he took on a very professional role as the, as the director of the McDougall Art Gallery in Christchurch, a position that he held for 16 years. Um, interesting that an artist of his ability would also take on such a professional career. You notice that this work has, I suppose, what you would call a mount around it, uh, a very distinctive aspect of the work that John Coley produced in this way, these fine bands of colour and a flat area behind, take on a sort of almost um, stage-like presence, looking through something, through a mount. But I think we can go away with uh, a sense of community here and a sense of busy people going about their lives. <laughs> 